he won a big unrace competition in Tralee back in March and you know he did some fantastic times around there. He went lame in the trial around Shelbourne and was off for six weeks. Came back, went to Wimbledon for the derby, unfortunately got knocked out in the first round and is back now in Tralee for the race of champions. He's drawn in one, so you know we're delighted to be in one. Paradise Silver was in one in the semi-final and he led and we were always sort of on the rear end of him. So um, we're delighted to be drawn on the inside of him. He needs to come away running. He ran extremely well behind Paradise Silver. He's a cracking dog and he, he ran tremendous Friday. So we need to be getting first run, I think, on him. Midtown Rappers in three, that showed very good early in the other semi-final. So we'd want to be going around the bend up on them. You know, or it, you wouldn't want to be giving them a start because I, I don't think, you know, he's not going to come from behind. Well, my dad has always taught an awful lot of him. He's a very, very fast dog. He won the ledger for us last year in Limerick and he gave a spell and stud in Dunphy's. We were getting him ready for a Scottish Derby and things didn't go to plan. But now we think we have him right and he ran well last week, so we're happy enough with him. We're delighted with the shot. He won the ledger out of two and he has two on Friday night, so it's so no, we can be happy with. He started off his career in Tralee you know, and he always, he always trialled very well there. He ran the track very well last week, so you know, he obviously loves Tralee. Well, obviously, Graham Holland's dog on the inside is a very fast dog. You know, he won the Juvenile in Tralee. Pat Gilfey's dog in four. He's a very fast dog if he gets to run, you know, so... You know, he'll have to be on top of his game to win it. We have him since he, since he was a pup, since he qualified, and uh, he won uh, Constellation Lars last year, and he was second in the Produce Stakes, and he won the Lars this year, and now we're in this final. Uh, so we're looking forward to it. The other dogs are, are drawn well. There's two inside dogs. There was actually three inside dogs and the other guys are in one or two and there's three wide runners. So it should be a good race and it, it should be you know, ran in without trouble like because you have three inside dogs and you have three wide dogs. Well, it's the local track anyway and that should really, you know, help a local dog. He has to come out fast because there are a lot of fast breakers in it, like in good dogs. We have been training for Paul and Mary Jennings this couple of years now. We've got Lyle Bolt as about 13, 14 months old. Won the, um, the, the, the Derby plate last year in Shelburne, the same night as his brother won the um, Derby. We decided then to um, go for Tralee for the champions. Trialed him down there two weeks ago and done a blistering trial. So he's in the final now and we're delighted to be there. Trap four, a bit tricky. We're a bit worried about the trap draw because um, he bombs out a six, a good early pace down, but he has three fast breakers now inside him with early pace and two wide seats outside him. So we're just hoping for the best. We're always hopeful, like, you know, he, he's well prepared, he's in great form. He loves the warm weather, like, I'm sure. We just have to hope for the best that he bombs out and does everything right. Rural Hawaii. He's owned jointly by Helen O'Dwyer and her son Michael O'Dwyer. Helen bred him um, in Clonmel and her prefix would be rural, and her son Michael lives in Hawaii, so that's how he came to be rural Hawaii. He's had one trial two to three months ago and he went well in this trial, but he's got no recent form. He's there in the final, hopefully he can come away a little bit better in the final this week. He's a wide runner, we're happy to be in five. The six probably hasn't got a lot of early, so hopefully he's well drawn there. It's a great final, they're all great dogs in there and um, I think you, you can't really single out any one who's been a big threat. It's a really cracking final and we just want to be coming away running, I think, to, to give him any chance at all. I wouldn't like to single out anyone in particular. They're all great dogs. This syndicate has owned a good few budgie dogs. It was named after a great friend of ours who had had a bypass, so we called it Budgie Bypass. And he's been a flying machine, loves Trap 6, and he, he's won, I'd say, 10 or 11 races for us. It's a great track, truly. Great atmosphere on the night. It'll really be the place to be now on Friday night. Getting Trap 6 really suits us. He, he runs really well out of 6, much better than any other box. He had 5 in the semis, but, but the 6 will suit him a lot better. The syndicates had some great dogs with Paul Hennessy. The main one, of course, was Rutland Budgie, who won the Puppy Derby and uh, held the track record in Cork for a long time. Uh, but Budgie Bypass isn't quite up to that standard. 
he's still a very, very good dog. But when he flies out from that trap six, let the rest of them catch him.